Morning Year 11. So this one's the very first entree of the year. You'll be doing this generally at the start of term one. I'm obviously recording this during Corona time. So for many of you, this will be the, the very first dish that you've cooked in kitchen operations. Some of you will have done hospitality last year. Those of you that had, I hope that you remember some of the things that are important to us. So our general hygiene rules and our health and safety. I'll be going back through those throughout the demonstrations this year. So the first thing that we're going to cook today is this Thai pumpkin soup. So I've got a whole pumpkin here and it's probably the best way to show you how to handle a knife safely. And I'm going to do that by taking about 500 grams of this pumpkin and then cooking that off for our soup. So I want it on a stable um, board first. So what I've actually done is I've put under this board, there we go, start the lesson. Under this board I've put a damp paper towel and that paper towel is just going to stop our polypropylene board from moving around. Remember I'm using a green board because we use green boards for vegetables so any vegetables should be cut on a green board. Okay, so what I'm looking for is to cut downwards towards the board and away from my hand. I'm always keeping my hand in what's called a claw grip and I'm going to go down through the pumpkin towards the board, take the knife out and turn the whole pumpkin around and then repeat that process on the other side using the claw grip again to hold the pumpkin in place. So I've cut that pumpkin in half now, put half it away and then we're looking at weighing about 500 grams of this. So I know that this is about a three kilo pumpkin so I want it on a nice Firm I'm going to put it down on the flat side, cut it in half again. Okay, so that's going to give us there about a 400 gram piece. And then I'm going to take this into two to give us about a 500 gram piece. So now I need to peel my pumpkin. So probably the easiest way to do this is to cut it into smaller pieces. So I'm going through the top of the pumpkin, my hand above where the blade of the knife is. The knife goes down towards the chopping board. And now I can actually sit the pumpkin up. Still got my fingers in claw grip. And I'm cutting down towards the board. So always away from my hand. Taking out any seeds that are inside the pumpkin. Got a little bit more peel there, so if I cut that in half again, I can just cut down towards the board and take off all those bits of peel. Got more peel in this because I'm going to bulk my soup up a little bit. Again, so and then keeping my board nice and clean, getting rid of any trimmings off my board. And I've got a nice clean board ready to start the next part of the process. So in order for us to make a soup in one lesson, we need our pumpkin to be reasonably small. So by that I mean a dice of about one centimetre. If it's too much bigger than that, then the pumpkin's going to take a lot longer to cook through. And we're not going to get time to do that in one lesson. So we have to make sure that our timing is such that our pumpkin soup is going to cook in that time frame that we've got. On the day of that function, that's slightly different because we've got all day to cook our pumpkin soup on that day. So yeah, that can be slightly different. But certainly during class time, if you want the soup to cook quickly and if you're making it at home and you want it to cook quickly, then cut the pumpkin nice and small. The larger you cut it, the longer it's going to take to cook. So, got my pumpkin in a nice dice there. As you can see, I'm using claw grip all the time. So, I do rave on a bit about this claw grip, but this is what's going to keep you from getting your fingers cut. So, it's vitally important. So, fingers straight down, thumb at the back, cutting towards the board, using a cutting action 
not a chopping action. So that core grip is what we're going to use for everything that we chop. I'm going to show you that again in a second when I do the onion. So that's most of my pumpkin chopped now. I've just got this one last little bit to do. on my board getting in the way while I'm chopping this. Okay, so now we want a diced onion. So what I've done is I've cut the onion in half and then I've taken off the roots and the tip, getting rid of those off my chopping board so that again I've got a nice clear space. Just nip the end of the peel, pull all of the peel off, and now with my thumb at the back and my hand in claw grip again, finger straight down, cutting using the tip of the knife, coming backwards towards that board. So I haven't cut all the way through the onion, cut nearly to the end. Another cut in that way, and then put all the onion back together, pull grip again, thumb at the back, finger straight down, and that way the knife, even if it slips, is only going to go down towards the board. So if the knife slips, it will go down towards the board, my fingers and stay in claw grip away from the bar. So that's my diced onion. A little bit of coriander here as well that I'm going to show you. So coriander we've got mainly comes in three parts. We've got the leaves, we've got the stems which I've already cut off and then we've got the roots. So all of the coriander is useful. So we're going to use the stems, uh, sorry the leaves as garnish, so I'm going to keep some of those leaves back and chop them up and put them in as garnish. We're going to use the stems of the coriander and I've washed those really well in the cold water because it gets a little bit of sand in there when it, when it um, grows. So I've washed those and we're going to put those into our soup now. And if I was making my own curry paste I would actually mince up the roots and put those in with the, the curry paste. So the whole of that herb gets used, the roots, the stems and the leaves. I'm not making my own curry paste today so I won't keep those stems, but I am going to chop up the, uh, the stems here, I won't keep the roots, I'm going to chop up those stems, I'm actually going to put that in with my own, just so that it adds a little bit of extra um, authentic flavour to this Thai, flat, Thai style pumpkin soup. So I've got my onions there and my garlic ready, uh, my coriander ready, could put garlic in with this, but we're going to use curry paste and that's already got some garlic in it, so we won't need any more garlic. Okay, so we can start cooking this now. So we're going to light this stove. So to light these stoves, you're holding the button until it's got the little pilot-like symbol there. Light the gas, hold it in for about 10 seconds. When you let it go, it should stay on. Okay, now I don't want too much heat on this. I want about a medium heat. So I get my heat done first before I put the pot on the stove, and that way I can see how much heat I've got there. I'm not looking under my pan to try and look at it. So I've got my saucepan there. I've done quite a large, uh, medium to large saucepan, and uh, this would work equally well in a small to medium one. So we're going to use about 20 mils of vegetable oil. So 20 mils of vegetable oil is basically one tablespoon. And our tablespoons, unfortunately, we've been given ones that are 15 mils, so I'm using one and a quarter tablespoon. Okay, so I've just warmed through my oil. I don't want to brown the onion in this. I want this soup to be a nice orange colour, so I want to get that orange colour from the pumpkin. And if I brown this onion, then I won't get that orange colour. Instead, I'll get a, a deep brown colour for my soup. 
and that'll affect the look of it. Okay, so while my onion's cooking away there, we've got some ginger that goes into this recipe as well. Now, ginger, I, I actually think the best way to do ginger is to grate it. Um, I actually at home just keep my ginger in the freezer and grate it straight from frozen into whatever I'm cooking. So if I'm doing a stir fry, frozen ginger straight from the freezer into whatever you're cooking. So this is fresh ginger, this has just come in today, so no need to put this in the freezer yet. And I'm just doing about a teaspoon of ginger. And I'm going to turn my feet down now because I can see that those onions are starting to just brown on all of them. So, so I don't want to get any more colour on them. So I've actually removed that from the feet while it cools down. So I've got the flavour of my ginger now and my coriander going through those onions. So that's giving me that Thai style flavour. So now that my onions are cooked, I can add my red curry paste to that. So we want about a teaspoon of red curry paste. So in, in this red curry paste, we've got things like lemongrass, chilli, um, and sometimes there's a little bit of fish sauce in it. This one doesn't have fish sauce in it. Uh, some of them have uh, sesame oil in them. So I'm going to take a nice teaspoon of that and pop that in with my onions. And as soon as that's cooked out for a few seconds, now I can add my pumpkin. And I want to coat the pumpkin in all of those spices and onions and coriander and ginger. So I want to get pumpkin to get all of those flavours going through. Just letting that cook out for a moment. And now I can put my vegetable stock into there. So the vegetable stock that I've got here, I've actually made myself. So there's another video later on that shows you how to make uh, fresh vegetable stock. So this one really was just leftover trimmings of vegetables, so celery, onions, uh, we had some leeks in there, we had a few tomatoes, boiled all that off, let the, uh, probably a couple of hours, let that cool down and then strain it through a sieve and that's what we've got left there. So we've got some fresh vegetable stock. We could quite easily use chicken stock in this, chicken stock would be fine. The reason we use vegetable stock is because when we're doing this for our, our restaurant, what we want to happen is we want any vegetarians that come along to be able to eat as many of the dishes as they can. So by not putting any uh, meat in here, we can offer it to the vegetarians on the night. So it's a, an option that they've got without us having to do a separate vegetarian entree. So this one will be fine for our vegetarians. So quite often you'll see that on a menu indicated with a little V for vegetarian next to it. If it's vegan, then yeah, there would be a, a, a VE on there. I probably won't put this as vegan. A couple of reasons. One is that yeah, there might be um, some traces of egg or something like that in the, in the curry paste. So I'm going to let that roll now. I can bring the heat back up. Now that I'm not frying those onions anymore or sautéing them, I can bring the heat up pop the lid on it to actually start um, cooking that pumpkin down. So that's going to cook down over the next few minutes. While we're waiting for that to cook, we're going to make some croutons to serve with this. So we've got some bread here. Now this is frozen bread, so I've just got a, a frozen piece of basically yesterday's bread. And I'm just going to cut this into small dice pieces. And then pop it onto a tray. Get some of those little beaks on there. Cut those in half again. It's nice if these are quite small. Okay, and then we're just going to put a little bit of oil over the top of them. Salt, pepper, Move all that. All these croutons are a great way of using up old bread. 
So, yeah, old bread, keep it in the freezer. You can cut these straight from frozen. They take about five minutes then in an oven on 180 degrees. So they're very quick to cook, great to serve with soup. Means that when you're serving the soup, you're adding an extra texture to it. So these are going to go nice and crunchy in the oven. And then when the soup's finished, we'll serve them on the top of the soup. So I'm just going to check the soup now, remembering that this pan is hot. So when I'm opening the lid from it, I'm opening it away from myself so the steam doesn't hit me in the face. And I can see that that's boiling away quite nicely there now. So we're going to pause this video and then when that soup's cooked, I'm going to come back, finish the soup off, finish the croutons off in the oven and then we'll serve it in the oven.